Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Par Out of the Can Haunt Review 2015. We are back from the St. Louis excursion with much yes. to report. And we're going to be publishing these a little bit out of order. And the reason we're doing that is actually this haunted attraction this here. One, right here. This haunted attraction. Of course, we're going to have the logo here too. But yes. <laughs> one, you can look at the logo or her shirt. The choice is yours. Um, but the point is, this haunted attraction, they only have four more days of open time. So right. we want to make sure we get this video out yes. in a way that actually, you know, supports them. Go. <laughs> All right. So let's tell, tell the tale of this one real fast. Mm -hmm. This is the Waterloo Sportsman Club Haunted Trail yes. in Waterloo, Illinois. Now, for those who don't know where Waterloo is, which I'm assuming is a lot of people, it is south of St. Louis. Um, it's a good, good little way south of St. Louis um, in a very rural community, about 10,000 people according to Wikipedia. Mm. I can Google stuff. You can. I can Google well. Um, but yeah, these guys have been putting on a haunted trail for quite some time. It is their 27th year right. according to their flyer. And their flyer, presented thusly, <laughs> is what got us to go. We saw this at a uh, costume and Halloween shop. Well, I'm sorry, this is 26. Whoops. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> uh, you could have spoken up. The 26th year they've done this. <laughs> no, we could just hold on to this review for a year to be accurate. <laughs> um, but they're 26 annual. But yes, we saw this at a... Um, Costuming shop in Bellevue, Belleville, Illinois. Yeah, I Belleville. was going to call it Bellevue for some reason. In Belleville, Illinois, and I took a photo of it, and we ended up sort of on the fence about whether or not to go. We had Eckert's Farm that night, right? Which kind of put us in the direction, but not right. really. Everybody was really tired. tired. We had a really busy night the night before. We just got in town the night uh, before that. Yeah, and it was. We were all silly, exhausted, and we had this big thing planned Saturday where we were going to go do the drive-in and all this stuff. So we were thinking about just bailing after Eckert's and going straight back home and getting some much-needed mm -hmm. rest. But after Eckert's, we had a great time. Yes. And much like, you know, being four beers into a good night of drinking <laughs> session, you just want to keep it going sometimes. Exactly. And that was the mentality with which we drove ourselves to Waterloo with a bad idea. <laughs> With bad ideas rattling in our brain. But you know what? Like a lot of bad ideas, they led to great stories and great adventures. And this yes. definitely was one of them. Yes. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, when we drove so, up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. No. Now, when we drove up to this, we did not know what to expect at all. No. And it looked huge yeah. from the road. Yeah. Once We're again, like, remember, this is all we knew. Yes. The that. entire knowledge we had going into Waterloo is contained in this piece of paper. So we drive up, and there's lights everywhere, and there's people, and there's ticket booths, and we're like, what the hell did we stumble into? And it was a fall festival type thing, a Halloween yeah. festival type thing, and it was pretty awesome. Yes. Um, yeah, and you know, the basic gist of it is this. These guys run a sportsman club. And they have a trail through the wilderness nearby yeah. that every year they spend a couple of months mm -hmm. setting up a haunted attraction on. Right. And then they tear it down within one day of putting it up. So it never is the same, exactly. Correct. It, what you see this year will not be there next year, necessarily. Yeah. Um, tickets are $14. Yes. And more than fair price. Yes, walk through was thirty minutes. Yeah, the walk and, and stop and think about that. We often talk in these reviews about the dollar per minute ratio here. Right. Can we say a one to one is a good starting point? Yeah. If I pay that's fair. Fourteen dollars for a haunt, I expect a fourteen minute walk through. They doubled that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, pretty easily. Um, now, I gotta say the thing about it that blew my mind was just the sheer level of ingenuity of places. Yes, they are very creative yeah. with their scares and their builds. You know, this is not some high-end haunted attraction. Yeah. This is what you do with tarp and plywood and what you do with just ingenuity and you know the, what yeah. equipment you have on hand. Right. This yeah. felt a lot like Lafitte. Yeah, and that's kind of what we were thinking is that yeah. when we found out, and this is something I haven't we haven't published yet, but Lafitte is not opening this year, so there will be no Lafitte review. But when we found out Lafitte wasn't opening, that left a hole in our Halloween soul. Yeah. And I think these guys filled it. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, they did. And you know, I've we've always said 
kids cannot be scary. Mm -hmm. Or scare actors, yeah. Yes. I was wrong. Because when shadows start multiplying, yeah. it's a little unnerving. Yeah, I, I guess we should change it into that skids, kids can't scare with, like, they can't, like, physically intimidate. Right. But they can do other types of scares. Yeah. Yeah, that's the lesson learned there because they dressed in little black morph suits. Yes, they were all in little black morph suits, <laughs> and then they stood together, and then there was two of them, and then there, there was, was three, three of them. them. And <laughs> it's, like, and it's like, oh, man. And it was such a simple scare, too. And it's like, why haven't I thought of this idea? Yeah. This is brilliant. And that's just it. These guys have over, you know, 25 years of experience with this. Right. Everyone in that haunt, I'm pretty sure, is a veteran. Yeah. And, in fact, talking to some people there, you have to, like, work your way into the field. Right. Well, I worked in the kitchen for four years, and now I'm finally allowed to be in the field type yeah. thing. So, yeah, they have very, very, very talented, very experienced actors out mm -hmm. there. And it really is an actor's playground. Yes. And for a trail haunt, it felt totally safe. Yes. The walkway is well lit. Mm -hmm. You know exactly where you're supposed to go. The the trail itself is Very flat well and well maintained. Yeah, they, they, they laid the down, a, the trail is guided by two rows of orange lights. Mm -hmm. So your footpath is always very, very well illuminated. Right. And it's mulched. Right. So any stumps or odds and ends, you just are mulch, mulching on the mulch right over them. You never right. even notice they're there. Yes. And, you know, it felt safe enough that we could relax and have yeah. fun with it and that was kind of the thing about it is we got there we're at this festival uh -huh. we're hanging out we're smiling we're d talking about the food we're going to get when we're right. done with it it's so good and, like and then it was and then it's reasonably well lit and we're just smiling and we're laughing and we're having fun and we're looking at the cheesy props and then some dude just tacks from behind while we're oogling <laughs> one of the cheesy props and it's on like donkey kong yeah and that's really how you do it yeah I mean, the textbook distract and startle throughout this haunt. Yeah, I've got to, I've got to tell on Ellie a little bit. Okay, go ahead. Well, okay, because I was in the back of the group. She was in front of me. Her son was in front of her. And I was in the very, very front. Right. So we were going through this one part, and this guy just gets her. You know, he just gets. Good her. startle, classic startle. Good startle. So we go around the corner, and she's like, "You know, if they're smart, they're gonna get me." God damn it. Right, right here. <laughs> oh. He did. He got her again. And then she starts telling me how she knew that he was going to get her. And, and then he goes, but what about from here? <laughs> oh, yeah. He actually got a high five from yes, this Yes, I got, I gave him, a, I, I do not usually high five the actors and have them break character, but I could not help it. And that's yeah. what it everyone seemed to appreciate oh. it. They are very talented actors, and since they build it like that, and they build it very quickly, they're able to build in multiple scare points right. like that. And like I said, don't expect any elaborate sets. Most yeah. of it, a lot of it's black walls and tarp and sheeting. And woods. And There's woods. lots of woods. Lots of woods, and very good use of the woods, too, I might add. Yes. Um, yeah, don't expect any elaborate sets. Don't expect, you know, a lot of detail. Don't expect high and props for the most part. Yeah. A lot of it's stuff that you know that you'll be familiar with from Halloween stores, but do expect high quality actors, a very safe, very fun, very relaxed trail haunt, and a lot of good startles because of yeah. the combination of those two things. Yes. Now, one thing we did want to sort of gripe about a little bit was the ending. Yeah. It ends in a maze. Yeah. And I don't like mazes and haunts in general. No, and it was a blackout maze. maze. And they threw a lot of good scares in there. They had, like, vibrating floors and shifting things and all body that. Body bags. And body and bags. They threw a lot of good stuff in there, but I couldn't enjoy any of it because I was too busy trying to find my way out. Yes. And, yes, it was a very frustrating maze. And there's only I find there's only two reasons haunts put mazes in. Mm -hmm. One is that they feel the need to pad their runtime. You don't. You don't have to. Forget it. The maze was about six minutes long total. I mean, it mm -hmm. felt longer, but it was about six minutes long. Right. Well, it felt you longer because we thought you broke your nose. Yeah, no, that didn't help. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, the group stopped suddenly, and Crystal got blinded by something, and head, her hang, head came back, mine came forward, and poof. Because at that yes, point, I had been right behind her. That's why you don't take light in the dark spaces. Yeah, whoever, whatever other group in the haunt had done that. It yes. was not one of the actors. Another, no. Someone else was using their flashlight. Yeah, to try to find the way out. Came around the corner, blinded Crystal and our group. and Because our group had gotten all flipped around by this point. Yeah. We'd been doing ziggy zags at that yeah. point. Uh, but the other reason is you think people genuinely enjoy mazes, and everyone, as because well, our group ended up getting mashed with like two other groups. Right. Everyone, as, when we finally made out the exit, said, "Oh, thank God, that's over." Yeah. No one was saying, "Oh, well, I want to go to the maze again." It was, yeah. No one was saying that. No. So I think what I would do personally is take that last room, make it a good streamlined single walk through, and just make it your grand finale. Make that where you hit them with all yeah. that wonderful stuff you got. And if you can't make that your grand finale, move the graveyard to there because yeah. that was awesome. The graveyard was probably the, my favorite setup too, honestly, in that. Um, mm. And also, the, it does promise that it's a, a hayride. Yeah. Really, the hayride is just getting you back to the beginning. Yeah. Don't don't expect a truly haunted hayride. No. But um, yeah, still an amazingly fun trail. They did a good job getting everyone relaxed, getting everyone the right mindset, right. and then hitting people from unexpected angles. It's what this this type of haunted attraction should do. Right. So yeah, I mean seriously, if you are in uh, the southern St. Louis, if you're in the St. Louis area, yes. if you like haunted houses, this one's well worth going to. Yes. It's been around for over a quarter of a century. <laughs> and I hope it continues because it is a great haunted attraction. And I hope if we do go up at this time next year, right. we're able to go back. Yeah, I would love to go back. I would love to go back, definitely. This is definitely on my I hit almost list. suggested going back again while we were still there. I, I, I do not blame <laughs> you. you. You tell me, like, skipping the drive and let's go back to Waterloo. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't have blamed you. Well, anything else you want to add on this? Oh, no. um, actually, there's one more thing. Zombie laser tag. Oh, yeah. We almost forgot about that. They had that. Yes, they had zombie laser tag. It was a thing. Yes, Five bucks, I guess it's worth it. Yeah, you have um, a, a thing that you wore on your head uh, with little lights, headshots, were instant kills, kills and guns to gun. took a few more hits. I don't remember yeah. what the exact You have a were. life bar on it. I, they have a paintball set up with little shields yeah. and stuff to hide behind. But instead of shooting paintballs, you're shooting lasers. Yeah. Um, it was fine. I felt a little frustrated by not knowing how the gun worked. Yeah, me too. I it, pressed buttons that I apparently wasn't supposed Yeah, apparently you did that, and apparently I just didn't know how to reload. Yeah. I couldn't find the reload button to save my life. Yeah, and it's weird and, to and shoot it, without I think, a laser beam. Yeah, in hindsight, I think the reason I didn't find the reload button is I shoot left-handed sometimes. I don't know. I don't know, because the button was on the... Re anyway, the button's up front somewhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, and you, your absolute point remains that most laser tag arenas fill it with fog, right? So you can see where the laser beam is going. Yeah. You have like tracer fire, basically. You don't have that here. Still, it was fun. It was yeah. nice. I, I felt a little bit unfair because it was basically me and her against the staff. Yeah. Oh yeah, Shawnee was on their team too. Yeah, he did well. He, he did. A, he actually did pretty well. He got better than the staff guy. Okay. I know I'm making fun of him, but yeah, it's still it, it, I had a, I struggled with the equipment some, and <clears throat> but all in all, it was fun, worth five bucks. I don't know if I'd pay for the wristband. It was fourteen. Yeah, it depends on if I was going to be there longer. Yeah, but it was fun. However, I do recommend stopping by the uh, little kitchen they have. Yes. Very reasonably priced, very yummy food. Yes. Do yeah. eat you a lot of yummy yummy food. Yes. It was very good. We had uh, funnel cakes and fries. Yes, and, and funnel cake with caramel on top. Yeah, I've never seen that even, I don't think. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, do recommend that. And also try some of the carnival games, too. Just yeah. because it's a fair and you are legally obligated to. Yes. Okay, that, I think, is everything. Yes. Okay. Well, on that note, everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Heart Out of the Can, Haunt Review 2015 for the Waterloo Sportsman Club in Waterloo, Illinois. <laughs>